Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I am here at the Goodwill Outlet. I'm so excited to go in and find some stuff. This is my first time coming here by myself. I don't have Jeremy here to help me. And I see that everybody's starting to go in right now, so I've gotta go. I'm gonna show you what I find. I'm hoping to find some good things to resell on Poshmark. I also would love to find some more fall things for myself. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so I, oh, it is really zoomed in. That's so good. So at these bins, everything was $1.49 per pound, not per item, per pound. And I also got, I think, uh, over 20 items. I can't remember exactly how much I paid. If I have the receipt still, I will put it down below or I will insert it right here during this clip. But I got so many items for such a great price. And the bins that I went to were in Delaware. They're my favorite bins to go to, and Delaware also doesn't have any sales tax, which is very nice. So if you guys have seen any of my other Goodwill outlet hauls from the outlet I went to in Delaware, they have this unique system at their Goodwill outlet where you get a number that corresponds to a bin, and then you start at that bin, and then every 45 seconds they ring a bell and you move from one bin to the next. But there's only one person per bin. So it's a very like economic system, but also it's helping with preventing COVID, so I appreciate that but it's a really kind of intense situation. You have 45 seconds to look through this entire bin. It's really crazy. It's really fun. It's very stressful as well though. So all these pieces are gonna be pieces that I found in less than 45 seconds in a huge bin of clothes, which is just crazy and so much fun. So let's jump into showing you what I got. This first item I found was this really cute wicker bag. It's a circle and it also has this longer strap so you can wear it crossbody as well. I just thought this was really cute. It's got a zipper for the inside as well as um, a pocket on the inside as well. The in inside's in amazing condition. And I don't know what brand this is, but I think it's really, really cute. It's in great condition. I know a lot of things like this have been selling pretty well on um, Poshmark. So I will put this up on my Poshmark, even though I like it myself as well. And I'm hoping to probably put it up for like $25, maybe sell it for like $15. And again, since everything was $1.50 per pound, this probably cost me less than a dollar. My next pieces are the things I am so excited to show you. This was one of my first bins that I was digging through. And a trick that I've really learned to utilize at the bins is to look through the clothing with my hands rather than with my eyes. Because sometimes your eyes can deceive you on things that aren't really great quality but they look like they could be but your hands they don't lie you can dig through things and then you find something that's really soft and you can tell it's really well made and those are the things i like to grab especially when i only have 45 seconds of time to look through a bin so these next things i grabbed because of how soft they were another little thing that i like to look for in the bins is I have realized that a lot of things at the Google Outlet bins are things that are kind of left over sometimes from dry cleaning places actually. So I'll find so many things that have dry cleaning tags attached to it. I don't know if that's just the Goodwill Outlet in Delaware or if that's, th that's true across the board, but I find so many things with dry cleaning tags attached and you know if somebody is paying to dry clean an item that that's probably a good item. So that's the case for this. I felt it and I grabbed it because it was soft and then it also had a dry cleaning tag attached to it. And it's actually a nice Vince sweater. So up until recently, I'd never heard of Vince. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been putting together kind of a list of Bolo brands or be on the lookout brands that I have been finding lately in the wells that are selling really well on Poshmark. I'm changing the kind of direction of my Poshmark away from lower end brands and more towards like a mid tier brand. I want to sell things mostly for like between 50 and a hundred dollars. That's my goal right now. And Vince is a very nice brand. It's a designer brand. So I found this Vince 
turtleneck sweater in white. It is so cute, so fluffy. And you can see right here, I took the dry cleaning tag off already, but whatever dry cleaning tag they use really kind of messed up the tag a little bit, which is upsetting. But this is from Vince. It's a size extra small, dry clean only. It is so cute, it's so soft. You can just tell how high quality it is. I found this in the bin. I found it, I freaked out and I was like, oh my gosh, I just was doing all this research on this brand and then I found it in the Google Outlet bin. Whoever left their Vince sweater at the dry cleaners also left its identical twin at the dry cleaners. This also had a dry cleaning tag on the little tag on the inside. It is the exact same sweater. I found two of the exact same Vince sweater in the Goodwill outlet bins, which is crazy. And again, it's the exact same thing. So we've got the Vince tag right there, size extra small. It looks like it's a little, it's definitely oversized. It is beautiful, there's no flaws on it, and if you, you know anything about thrifting in the Goodwill outlet bins, then you know, you know how hard it is to find things that are white. It's, I'm so excited that I found these! I found those two sweaters in the same bin, so I knew that there was probably a donation from the same dry cleaners or the same person all together right there, but I ran out of time to look through the whole bin. So after we completed the entire round of going to like all 30 bins, I made a beeline. I booked it back to that bin because I wanted to look through it and make sure I didn't miss any other Vince items because I knew that they were a higher end piece. And I was not disappointed. It paid off because I found one more Vince sweater in that bin. And that Vince sweater is this really cute black and white striped sweater. It's in that same exact material. It's super soft, super fuzzy. And there's its little Vince tag right there. And it is in a size extra small as well. It all came from the same person. And I just think that this is so cute, so soft. Alas, I did not find its matching twin. They did not own two of the exact same sweater for this one, but they did own two of the exact same white sweater, which I mean, I get. But anyways, I found three Vince sweaters in the bins in the exact same bin, all for less than a dollar. How cool is that? I love thrifting! This next piece I picked up from one of the bins. I had not heard of this brand before, but I knew that I should look it up because I normally would not pick up something like this. I, it's not my normal taste. It's not something I personally enjoy, and I usually like to pick up things that I think are cute. But I picked this up only because it's new with tags, and the tag said that it was originally $148. For this and so I picked this up it's in a 2XS and it's by the brand Soft Joey. I don't know if I'm pronouncing Joey right is it Joy? Joey? G Joey? Jo Joey? Joy. Joey. I feel like it's Joey. I don't know. It's, it's spelled J-O-I-E. I know that that brand is very very popular on Poshmark and it's just a very nice brand in general. And again, that's one of those brands that I had just put together on my Bolo list. And so I was super excited to find that. I had to look it up because I didn't know if it was the same brand because it is actually the brand Soft Joey. But it is. It's just an offshoot of the same brand. And it has the extra little button attached. It's got the price tag. It's got everything attached to it still. So I picked that up. And because this is a tank top, it feels so light. I paid maybe 25 cents for this. Ooh, I'm getting so excited. Oh my gosh. You know when you just have like a good thrift trip? That is what I'm feeling. Like reliving all of the moments that I found these things. I don't know why people don't like to thrift. It is the most fun. The most fun you can have is digging through items and trying to find the gold there. Ooh, I am feeling this. Mmm, I did a good job. My next piece. Oh, if you watched my last Goodwill Outlet haul, I was given by this very kind man like four or five pairs of Lululemon leggings. Bless him. Bless him, Lord. This time when I went there, I found another Lululemon piece and I was so excited. I don't know what it is with people and taking the tags off of their Lululemon pieces. If you understand that trend, please let me know down below. You guys were so helpful. You helped me out so much. I was going to download the Lululemon legging sizing chart and measure all of those leggings and you guys were all like, no, just look in the little, little pocket in the back. If you haven't seen the video, it won't make much sense to you, but I will link that up above. This time I found a Lululemon sweater. So it's this beautiful purple 
sweater. It's so thick, so cute. I love the geometric pattern on the front and these pockets as well. It's a very thick knit. And somebody, again, took the tag out, as they are wont to do. So, there's no tag in this. I'll have to figure out the sizing. If there's some secret magical Yoda trick to find the sizing on a sweater that doesn't have a tag from Lululemon, let me know down below. But I knew this was Lululemon because, praise God, Lululemon puts their logo in like obscure places. So, right here on the back, I was digging through and I just saw this poking out. It's the little Lululemon legging. Ooh, the little Lululemon legging. <laughs> Say that four times fast. It's not even a legging. The little Lululemon logo. The little Lululemon logo hidden on the back here. This next piece I found in the same bin as that Lululemon top. Is it just me? Is it really hard to say Lululemon sometimes? I found this next piece in the same bin that I found that Lululemon sweater. And it is this Free People dress, little number. It's gonna be hard to get this to show up on camera. But it's got this crocheting detail here on the front. Ah, uh, there we go. And then it's got like this silky skirt that ends in a little ruffle there. It is pretty cute. I think it's really interesting the pairing of this crochet with like the silkiness of the bottom. It honestly looks a little bit like a night dress, but I mean it's free people so I just picked it up. So it's a size 8 and I'm kind of debating on this. I have a few free people items up on my Poshmark right now, but I have not sold anything free people in a very long time and it took a long time for that first piece from free people to sell. I'm sort of debating if I if I'm going to put this up on my Poshmark or if I'm going to just take this to a buy sell trade location. And when I say buy sell trade, I mean like a Plato's Closet or over here in Maryland, they have something called Uptown Cheapskate, which I think is a terrible name, but it's a place where you can sell your gently used clothes. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should put it on my Poshmark, if you think people would be interested. If not, I'm just gonna take it over to Uptown Cheapskate. So my next piece, Jeremy actually found for me, which is super great. Jeremy has just started taking up thrifting in the last few months and he's doing so well and I'm so proud of him. He's really enjoying it, which is giving us something really fun to do together. So it's a good time, but he found this on his own. I told Jeremy before that Levi Strauss jeans are pretty popular. He found this pair and he didn't even know how cool these were, but it is this vintage pair of Levi Strauss jeans. They're in this weird, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's definitely a dyed blue. It's kind of, it's not like straight denim color, very much so like a tealish color. Now they have this really cool patch on it and this patch was not original. Somebody patched this up, but the really cool part is these are straight vintage cause they are an orange tag, an orange tag Levi. So if you know anything about Levi Strauss, the orange tag is the most sought after cause that is like, the vintage cut, the vintage pair. Now these are a size width 27, length 30. So they're quite small, but they're so cool. And they've got a very mom style cut to them where they have a very narrow waist and a wider thigh coming into kind of more of like a straight leg. At the bottom, a little bit more cut in though. So these are really cute. And I'm going to put them up on my Poshmark. I hate listing denim. I really do. I hate listing denim just because it's so hard to get the perfect fit. So people usually ask for lots and lots of measurements. They ask for lots. They just ask lots of questions, which is totally fine. It's just for me, it's hard for me to keep up with everyone asking lots of measurement questions. The next piece I have here are these Athleta leggings. So again, up until recently, I'd never even heard of Athleta. I don't know if I would have ever picked them up. But I found these in the bins and I, I just couldn't leave them there. So these are an extra small right there. And it's in this kind of grayish blue. Um, I don't know. How would you describe this pattern? It's almost like clouds, but not. It's very nice though. It's very thick, very soft, and it's got nice seaming down. It's a full length, skinny leg, pair of leggings. And I'll have to look up some comps for this, but I believe that Athleta leggings go for quite a bit on Poshmark. So I picked these up and again, so light. This is not much fabric. So, and because of quarantine, everybody and their mother loves to just relax in a pair of leggings. So I thought these would be a good, a good pickup. And they're kind of a fun piece too. It's got a fun pattern on it. Next piece is a poncho. It's an orange one size fits all poncho from Cabby or KB. I'm a little unsure on how to pronounce it, 
But again, this is one of those brands that I just started looking up and I found it there. So it makes me wonder how many other things I'm passing by in the bins. I just don't know what the brand is. So I need to keep on doing more research. This is a good brand to look out for because it caters to plus size women. And I love to pick up things for plus size women. I just feel like they're underrepresented. They need more items. They need more options, especially on reselling places like Poshmark. So I love to pick up things like that. And this is, this is a one size and it is a really cool kind of knitted piece. I love the colors in it. It's very orangey and red and there's actually some green in it as well. And it's just cut at a flattering angle as well. I think that this will be really cool for a posh lady. And I think too that it'll fit a variety of people because it's definitely really stretchy as well. So I picked that up. This next piece I picked up only because we're in fall or winter and I just thought it was kind of cool. It is this vintage leather jacket. I think it's really fun and you can tell it's vintage based on its little tag there. It's called Live a Little um, and it's 100% leather shell with the polyester being the interior. So I thought this was a really cool piece. It feels really nice. It's cut in a nice way, especially for a lady's body. I love the little slit right there. I just thought this would be really fun. I picked up this next piece. Um, at first I thought it was a girl's jacket, so that's why I picked it up, but it turns out it's actually for men. So I love picking up Zara pieces from just regular Goodwills, from <laughs> like a found cheapskate just for myself. I love Zara. I think it's a really nice brand. I love their pieces, but I don't love buying from them directly because I don't really love to support fast fashion all the time. I try to stay away from it as much as I can. I'm not perfect. So I picked up this Zara basic in a size uh, US extra small. So this is definitely not um, a woman's extra small. This is a man's extra small. But it is this really nice kind of thick soft plaid shirt jacket or maybe it's just a shirt. I do feel like a lot of girls, it has snaps too, that's so nice. I feel like a lot of girls would like to wear this as a shacket. That is a trend for fall, a shirt jacket shacket. Just wearing it open I think would be really cute. But I picked this up and that'll go up on Jeremy's Poshmark. The next two pieces I picked up were just these champion t-shirts. I found this one first. It's just a blue striped champion shirt with the red neckline. And champion? Champion has really made a comeback in recent times. Like champion when I was growing up was like a Walmart brand and people weren't that into it. But now it's become like this high end, like hard to get kind of thing. And when I say high end, I mean like Think sell in there for like 50 bucks. I got these two champion items. This one has a little blue champion stitched right there on the front breast. It's a size large, a men's large. And then this is a ladies champion shirt and we can see the champion written really big right there. And then it also has the champion right there on the sleeve. And this is in a size women's extra large. So I picked up both of those and they're both super light. So now we're moving into more of my jackets. I picked up some coats as well. And then I picked up this piece for Christmas. I'm already thinking about Christmas. If you saw my last haul, you saw that um, I picked up a Christmas vest that I just thought was adorable. But this time I picked up this tiered skirt. Tiered skirts are really popular right now, but this one is a very Christmassy themed one. I mean, you could wear this any time of the year, but when I look at it, it just screams Christmas. It's got the elastic waistband. It's vintage. It's by Orvis and it's a size small. I did try this on though, so it runs a little bit big. You can make it work. And it's just this really beautiful tiered skirt. So we've got the red at the top and then the green and the red and then a little green one at the bottom as well. And it's kind of roughly at the bottom. I just think this is so cute. It's really hard to show you, but I think this is so cute for winter, for just Christmas in general. And I know so many people that look so cute in this. This next piece I picked up again because it's a plus size item and I love to have those plus size items on my closet. It is this beautiful, gray jacket kind of more like a coat actually it's pretty thick it's by isabella women's suit and it's in a 16 wide and it's just this very long coat it's got buttons that are hidden here on the inside by this like over layer and it's got a nice collar and it just cinches in at the waist i think it's really beautiful i just think it would look really sophisticated honestly i could wear it and wear it a little oversized just open i think it's really pretty and so that will go up on my Poshmark and hopefully I'll probably put it up for like maybe $25. This next item I picked up because I have sold quite a few Victoria's Secret pink items on my Poshmark and they're pretty popular, which is why I filmed my Victoria's Secret pink try on haul. 
Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll put that up above. But I found this and I thought it was so cute. It is this fluffy white Sherpa Victoria's Secret pink quarter zip. I think it is so sweet. It's so fluffy, so soft. And it's got the cute little, just a little pink doggy right there. This is in a size medium and it's oversized because I feel like I could wear this too and there's nothing wrong with it. And I'll put that up on my Poshmark. My last two clothing items are both Calvin Klein pieces and then I have two pairs of shoes for you as well. So hang in there with me. First, I found this Calvin Klein denim jacket and it's got Calvin Klein right there and as well as on the little leather tag on the inside. It's a size extra large. It's got nice buttons going down the front. And it's just a really nice piece, especially for fall, for winter too. I love to layer with my denim jacket that I have. And then it's also got this little cinching piece right here on the back, which I think is just a nice touch. And so I'll put that up on my Poshmark. Also, in case you didn't realize, this is the sweater that I actually found at the bins um, two times ago that I went. And it's from Anthropology, and I love it. I love it a lot. I've been wearing it nonstop. It's really cute. The last clothing piece is this beautiful, stunning red coat, also by Calvin Klein. See if I can show you there. So there it is, Calvin Klein. It is in a size 0X. So again, I just love picking up things that are in the plus size range. I just feel like people need more options. And so I found this beautiful red coat. I think it's really pretty. I love the big buttons, the sh big shiny buttons going down the front. We've got the pockets right here also with buttons, a nice collar, and then also some really nice stitching that's really flattering on the back, cutting you in at the waist. So I thought this was really pretty. It's really, it's heavy. I, pay, I paid up for this. I paid up for this because it's so beautiful. It's got some padding here on the inside. And I just think this is a beautiful coat for winter. So I'll try to put that up on my Poshmark as soon as I can because this is the perfect time to be buying jackets and coats on Poshmark. Now I have two pairs of shoes. The first one I found were these Vibram little toesy shoes. You know those shoes that you see people wearing sometimes? They're supposed to be really good for you because it lets your toes like move like they normally would. It's the Vibram Five Fingers brand. So these retail for, I think between 50 and 100. I don't remember quite exactly what they retail for. But I knew that they were a good find and they're so light. And I just think they're really cool too. So they're in a size European 37 or US 7 to 7 and a half. So I just thought these were a really cool find. I have not found anything like them before and again I paid maybe 50 cents for them and I'll put those up on my Poshmark. The last thing that I found were by the brand Ugg. They weren't boots unfortunately but I did find a pair of Ugg sandals and I think they're really cute. I love finding the brand Ugg. It's a really easy brand to recognize. Everybody knows about Ugg boots. They're in good condition. The bottom has hardly been worn and you can see the Ugg right there and then again we've got the gold here on the thongs and again Ugg right there. So that is everything I got on this trip to the Google Outlet Store. I had so much fun. I was really feeling the energy when I was there. It, sometimes it's stressful, but this time it was more fun than anything else. And I have to say, I think my favorite pieces that I found were the three Vince sweaters. I just, I can't believe I found three of them, especially the two that are the exact same sweater. That just like cracks me up. I think that's hilarious. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing was that I found. I just told you my favorites, but if your favorites are different, I would love to hear them. I would love to hear what you guys have been thrifting as well. So send those comments my way. Now, if you liked today's video, then please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps show my videos to more people. It's how the YouTube algorithm works. So if you like it, then please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would join our community here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. Now, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm so glad you were here. Thank you so much. And I love you so much. Bye.